a little bit about what you think with the markets right now. New year, maybe a new playbook, maybe. Um, hasn't been a great first start to the year. Yesterday was a pretty good day for the markets, though, outside of uh, what happened with the Dow with Boeing. Um, where, how are you feeling about things? What are you thinking? I'm really bullish, Becky. Um, we did have a great rally from October to December. It was, a, you know, a winning streak for both uh, bonds and stocks. And it's really normal to digest those moves. I still believe we're in a bull market. I think we're digesting these gains. I think we have the opportunity to add to equities and to add to fixed income. In fact, we've called this year the year of the bucking bull for both bonds and stocks. We don't think it's going to be a straight line. We do think there'll be some volatility, but we do think that we're going to have positive returns. In terms of the S&P, you know, our target range is in the range of 5,200 to 5,400 which is really still a nice double-digit return. Um, the leadership of the market remains the same. We still think it's technology led by semiconductors with NVIDIA hitting new highs yesterday. That gives us confidence that the leadership of the market is still intact. We've been getting all of this Fed speak, trying to digest it at this point. You think that we've seen the peak uh, for the 10-year yield at this point at 5 percent, but you do think that in the near term, you could be dealing with a, a lot of volatility there, too. That, that's correct. Again, we had a very big move in, in the 10-year last year. We think that rates could back up possibly to 4.5 to 4.6. Um, we, th we would think that that would be a very good entry point uh, if investors wanted to add a uh, long duration to their portfolio. But, we, you know, we like fixed income across the board. We really liked a little bit more of the belly of the curve around five to seven, but we think it's going to be a very good year for both asset classes. So 60-40 should work in a portfolio this year. You also like utilities and real estate, and maybe that's because of what you've seen with yields. You say that there's buy signals that are that are really flashing at this point. Yes. Yeah, so if we take our uh, monthly uh, stochastic, which is a price momentum indicator, we're getting the best buy signals in utilities and REITs since uh, 2008 and 2009. Obviously, those two sectors were hit really hard last year, down double digits, as interest rates went up. But if we're correct and interest rates have peaked, and if we see the Fed start lowering rates, we think these are two pockets that can really see uh, strong gains. Other pockets that have already moved um, that we think that will have a little bit more upside are the banks, uh, particularly the regionals, and uh, small cap. But we still think leadership will remain in the large cap tech names, although we're now getting a broadening out, which is very bullish. That's called the breadth of the market. And when we see breadth expand, especially the way it's been expanding, it's another confirmation that the bull run is still still going. Bill Gross has, say, has been saying that uh, treasuries are not the place to be at this point. He made a lot of money of being in them before, but thinks that things have peaked out. Why do you think that you still like treasuries? Oh, because rates can come down, but that doesn't mean that other pockets of fixed income are not attractive. Um, you know, investment uh, grade is, is, it looks good. Um, municipals look good. We've told clients if they can add high risk that the high yield market um, looks like it's bottomed and can continue to rally. So I think you're going to see rallies across fixed income, but you're going to get various different coupons and returns depending on where you're positioned within the market. All right, Marianne, thank you uh, very much. I guess if you have one thing that you're worried about, one thing you're watching, what would it be? It's the unknown unknowns that sometimes get you. But if there's one thing you're keeping your eye on. Well, really, it's going to be about rates and what the Fed does. You know, if, if the market is really positioned for rates to come down and if they don't get rates coming down, we're going to see a lot more volatility.